And welcome to this edition of Baseball Essential. My name is Gershon Rabinowitz. The running theme of the 2015 draft was the shortstop position. Six shortstops were taken in the first round of the draft, and the sixth shortstop taken in this year's draft was drafted by the New York Yankees, Kyle Holder, out of San Diego. And Kyle, it's an honor to have you on the show. Thank you. Appreciate it. Kyle, coming out of high school, you went to junior college at Grossmont, planning on becoming a two-sport athlete in both basketball and baseball. Which sport was your passion growing up, and what made you decide to trade a hoops career for a spot on the diamond? You know, just obviously I went to junior college to play both basketball and baseball, and I honestly I told myself I didn't really have much of a career in basketball after the college level, so I started thinking with my family on, on career-long goals, and baseball definitely was was a thing that caught caught the most attention for myself and my family, so I decided to, to let go of the basketball and just continue focusing on baseball. And there's probably more longevity in baseball because there's more positions, more players. Basketball, you only have about 12 guys on a roster, and if the NBA, it's probably 200, 300 guys. And in baseball, you have about 800 players playing every year, so there's definitely more opportunities. And then if you had professional baseball, even more so. Absolutely, yeah. That's, that's one of the other main reasons why. And just... Basketball in itself is definitely a challenging sport, and you got to be you got to be one of the most elite athletes to play basketball at the at the pro level, and obviously in baseball too. But you got more, like you said, more people on a roster for baseball and more opportunities. What aspects of the game of basketball helped you ease into the learning curve for baseball as you began to learn the shortstop position? Yeah, I'd say uh, footwork, most importantly. Um, Playing defense and alone is is a tough thing to do in the, in the sport of basketball and moving your feet and, and being quick on your feet and light on your toes and stuff like that. So all those definitely translated and playing the position shortstop, just always moving around, using using the backhand and the forehand and things like that definitely, definitely translate and helps me become a better baseball player. This past season you were the West Coast Conference Player of the Year, 348 average, 45 runs scored. So you slugged a robust 482 for the shortstop position, semifinalist for the Brooks Wallace Award as one of the top shortstops in the NCAA. What did that season mean for you personally after transferring to the University of San Diego? It was definitely um, a big year for myself, and I, I went into the year challenging myself to, to do a lot better than I did my sophomore year and hopefully put myself into a good position to become a professional baseball player. And I, I guess that happened, and just working with my coaching staff hard every day and becoming more consistent at the plate and becoming more of a hitter rather than just a defender definitely, um, I guess, brought my draft stock up a little bit, and I'm just excited to be here. The Yankees drafted you with the 30th pick in the draft. It was compensation for losing David Robertson to the White Sox. Did you have any inclination that the Yankees were going to be the team to select you, and how important was it for you to sign quickly once they did take you? Yeah, I mean, I, I had a had a little idea going into draft day that Yankees Yankees like me and they were they were up there and I don't know I just I can't can't ex describe the feeling that it feels like to be a New York Yankee head and I'm just excited to be out here on the field and play every day. And many have said that you were the top defensive shortstop in this year's draft and the scouting director for the Yankees Damon Oppenheimer even compared your ability at the position to Omar Vizquel. Are you surprised about the attention that you've gotten with your defense so early in your professional career? I mean. In some cases, yeah. Other cases, no. I mean, it's it's definitely an honor to be called and compared to to a shortstop like Omar Vizquel and Damon Oppenheimer is a great guy, and I, I thank the world for giving me, me the opportunity to become a Yankee. And I don't know. I'm just it's hard to explain what I what I feel like, and I'm just I'm just ready to go out there and play. Much has been made about your glove work, your prowess on the infield. In contrast, how would you describe yourself as a hitter, and what adjustments have you made at the plate? Obviously, not known as a as a huge offensive threat, and. I want that to change. I've been working hard all off seasons the past couple of years and every day throughout the spring season and just trying to become more consistent at the plate and be able to hit to all fields and show a little bit of power and, and speed and the bunting game and just helping my team win ultimately is the ultimate goal at the end of the day. And even as a late bloomer, you were a 300 hitter in college and you had a very good strikeout to walk ratio. So the steps are right there, just that the power hasn't developed yet, which could always come later. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, this is my third year playing baseball year round, so I feel like there's only room to grow and become a better become a better baseball player as I keep as I keep playing year long and in a professional organization as prestigious as the New York Yankees. I mean, all the tools are, all the tools and capabilities are there from the coaching staff. They obviously know what they're doing, and I just can't wait to work day in and day out with these guys and help our team win. 
You're the first player selected in the first round of the draft to play for the Staten Island Yankees since Eric Gigailo in 2013. What expectations do you have playing at this level, and have you spoken to anybody in the organization that may have played here before or any of your teammates to prepare you for the experience? I'd say no. I don't have. I, I don't know anyone that's been here in Staten Island. I've I've heard all great things about the coaching staff here in Staten Island itself, and expectations are high. I mean, as a first round draft pick, you expect to go out there and perform and move up the ranks. And you know, I try not to think about that side of the thing, that side of the um, equation that much. I just want to go out there and play hard and get my extra work in and ultimately help my team win. And what areas of your game do you want to work on? You mentioned about your hitting. Is there any other aspects of your game that you want to work on and try to improve upon? Yeah, absolutely. Um, definitely speed, speed on the base pass, stealing bags, and getting that home to first faster. And I'd say just polish up my, my defensive skills and try to stay airless. And that's ultimately going to help as I keep playing. And that will definitely help this year. It's been an honor to have you on. Staten Island Yankee season starts this week, and we'll be ready to go pretty soon. So thanks for joining us, Kyle. Absolutely. Thank you.